Okay, this is my second film on the infrasonic microphone accessory attachment for a Gauss Master EMF meter. Just to recap, this is a Gauss Master EMF meter that has an external, external antenna modification on it. Modifications for the Gauss Master can be seen on my website, Wavebender Magnetics. Just Google Wavebender Magnetics and you'll get my website and look for the Gauss Master mods pages. This is the infrasonic microphone. This microphone is frequency response is 0 .5, 0 .05 cycles up to 20 cycles and it's the Honeywell transducer and the circuitry and transducer can be seen in a PDF on the web by Jeffrey B. Johnson. Just Google Jeffrey B. Johnson Honeywell and you'll get the PDF to pop up. That's what's in here. This is the power supply back here which is basically just some batteries out of a laptop power supply that I use to power up the microphone. Any 7 to 35 volt source of DC power will power this microphone. It must absolutely be powered by batteries and not by AC or an AC connected power supply to keep the hum level down. It's very sensitive to hum since hum is 60 cycles and down near the ultrasound frequencies. So I'm going to turn it on. And now we're hearing ambient background infrasound. I'm going to move a door in the hallway to show what pressure changes, slow pressure changes, can do to the infrasound detector. So that's moving a door and when I got up to leave you could hear a sound tone change to me moving the pressure in the room. This is perfect for paranormal and ghost uh, investigators and ghost hunters. And I'll do a, an ambient noise which is what we're listening now to zero background. In other words I'll take off the backing volume and I'll take off the sensor port tube and I'm going to just cap both of the sensors off. As you can see, with the sensors not exposed to outside air, ambient air sound waves, the output goes to zero. And then if I take these off, now I'm hearing outside ambient pressure. But in this condition right here, we're hearing pressure waves at all sound frequencies. Even my voice can probably be heard right now. One, two, one, two, one, two. As you can hear, my voice can be heard. But now I'm going to put the sensor tuning back in place. And this changes the frequency response of the sensor to infrasonic. So along with the tuned backing volume and capillary leak, and the circuitry inside on the output of the Honeywell chip that tunes it to 0.05 to 20 cycles. Both of those together make an infrasonic frequency response microphone. And that microphone is plugged into a Gauss Master using the voltage controlled oscillator so that you can hear the infrasound converted up to audio. To audio that people can hear. Thanks.